My name is Bruce Smith. We're in the Public Record Office Victoria Repository. The Public Record Office is the State Archives of Victoria. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how archivists document archives. Archivists use the term arrangement and description when they're documenting archives. Arrangement is the process of organising your archives in accordance with accepted archival principles, the principles of provenance and original order. Description is the process of capturing information about your archives in a standardised format, for example in a database or on paper-based forms. Provenance relates to the person or organisation that created, accumulated and used the records in the course of their business or personal life. The principle of provenance requires that the records of one entity are not physically mixed with those of another. Original order is the order in which the records were kept and organised by the person or organisation that created them. The principle of original order requires that the records be documented in that order. How do you find that order? Here is an example of some records that might be offered to you for your collection. There may be order here. How do you find it? You need to examine the records. Look for information that helps you identify what the records are and the order of those records. Archivists document provenance using an admin history sheet for an organisation or a brief biography for a person. They then record original order using what's called a series description sheet. The individual archival items are recorded in an inventory. Now let's look at an example of documenting archives. Here we have cash books, but we don't know their provenance. There's nothing, identif no identifying features on the volumes to help us, so we need to look inside to see if we can find evidence of their provenance. So when we look inside, we're looking for something that helps us understand who created these records. In this case, we find a little pink bit of paper. It's actually a receipt from the Trustees Executors Company received from the Fitzroy Mission Free Kindergarten. What this actually is, is a receipt for the part of the salary of the kindergarten teacher who had died and the company were the executors. So the provenance of these cash books is the Fitzroy Mission Free Kindergarten. And we record that on our admin history sheet. Now we have the name of the provenance. The next entry on the form is the unique identifying number for this entity in our system and we pop that into the appropriate place. The next entry is for the date range, when the kindergarten started, around 1913, and when it ceased to exist, 1955. Then we'd add some administrative history, just some notes about the kindergarten itself. For example, the kindergarten was established circa 1913, the corner of Leicester and Young Streets Fitzroy. Uh, in 1931, the Free Kindergarten Union took over the running of the kindergarten as they couldn't find a committee. Then in 1935, a generous local councillor provided money for the children at the kindergarten to receive a hot midday meal four times a week. In 1955, the kindergarten's name was changed to the Isabel Henderson Kindergarten. And we put note that entry under related entities because it followed on. The last two items on the form are the name of the preparer, in this case me, Bruce Smith and the date I completed the form. Returning to our cash books, now that we've established the provenance of the books, we need to look at documenting the cash books themselves. And we do this using a series description sheet. Before we look at the sheet, we need to define what a series is. And a series is basically those records that come from the same filing system, for example, chronological system or an numerical system or an alphabetical system, or they are records that are kept together because they perform the same function. In the case of our cash books, although they are chronological, uh, they are kept together because they record 
income and expenditure of the kindergarten. Now to complete our series description sheet for the cash books, the first entry is the name of the records, i.e. cash books. Next we'd add an ID number for this series in our archives. The next thing is the provenance, in this case the Fitzroy Mission Free Kindergarten. The starting date of the series, circa 1913, and the end date of the series, 1955. Because we don't know any more information, we can't add anything for the next two fields, that is if there was anything before these cash books or anything subsequent. The next thing we would add is information about how to access these records and the sorts of information contained in the records and you'd explain how to use a cash book and the various pieces of information. The next entry would be the quantity of the records. In this case we say four volumes. And then we'd add the preparer, in this case Bruce Smith, and the date I completed the form. The next piece of documentation is to capture information about the individual cash books themselves. We do this using an inventory of the individual items. The items are the smallest unit in each series. In this case, each cash book is an item. And we do this by completing an inventory sheet. Now to complete our inventory. If we assume the cash books are going straight onto the shelf, we would number each item, for example, cash book number one, 1913 to 1929. Cash book number two, 1929 to 1937. Cash book number three, 1937 to 1946, cash book number four, 1946 to 1955. Alternatively, we could put the cash books into an archive box. In that case, we'd have to include the archive box number in our inventory. So we could have box number one with item one, cash book 1913 to 1929. Cash book number two, 1929 to 1937. Cash book number three, 1937 to 1946, etc. Now, having completed our inventory, we need to put the cash books into an archive box in the same order as they were in the inventory. So, cash book number one, cash book number two, cash book number three, cash book number four. What we'd do now is to give the box a number and to place it on the shelf. The system of documentation we've been talking about is what's called the series system. In this system, information about provenance is captured in what's called administrative history sheet for an organisation or a brief biography for a person information about original order and the records is captured in the series description sheet. Lastly, information about the individual items is captured in an inventory for each series. The series system for documenting archives works for the Public Record Office of Victoria in a large collection like this. Equally, it can work for you in a small collection in your local historical society. <laughs>